What's up guys, Brownie Bits Gaming here, and I'm bringing you a brand new episode in the world of Odium. So today, we were actually down in the basement of the uh, tavern. This is the uh, this <laughs> this is the uh, stairway up, and as you can see, it goes right into this area, and I broke this again, and I have not fixed it. Anyways, uh, so down here, this was going to be our little uh, storage area, you know, with our kegs in here, um, and then over in this direction, we have uh, some more of the warehouse, and I was thinking of expanding this maybe a little bit more, you know, maybe knocking this wall back a little bit. But uh, that is going to be saved for a little bit later. What we're working on today is actually going to be these kegs. And then there's also going to be some like wine storage in these. So uh, not all of them will have kegs. Uh, it just, this is uh, the kind of the design that I'm going with. Um, yeah, I think, I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I'm actually using this. And let me uh, look for... So I am taking uh, this design from Cortez Arino. Uh, he built a wine cellar and this is uh, pretty much exactly the same he had. He had different kind of floor in here. I may kind of use some of that maybe. Uh, it just really depends. I don't, I don't really know if I really want to, uh, use the, uh, pistons, but, um, that's kind of what I'm going with. And, uh, we're, we're doing this out of the same kind of block palette and I might make the ceiling out of, uh, kind of the purple and white coloring or even just like the center section here. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what we're working with today. Um, I think the ceiling is going to be some something along these lines here. I can't decide. We might we we might do like a little bit higher of a um, well. What we could do probably is something like this, and then let's see. It is storming something fierce outside. Oh my gosh. And that's uh, Minecraft, not uh, IRL. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking something, if I can get on one of these blocks, I'm thinking maybe something like uh, this. Um, as the ceiling. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we might have a little bit lower of a one here. Something like this as in the, the regular ceiling. That would just be like the support beams. Oops. Hmm. I don't know. You'll, uh, you'll have to let me know what you guys think on that. Uh, but I'm not going to really worry about that. So let's go ahead and get on into a uh, time lapse, I, I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and get into a time lapse and let me go ahead and work on these rings.
guys and welcome back so uh, I've gotten actually quite a bit done and one thing that I wanted to do is actually name these after different players on the server so we've got Knights White Ale we've got a wandering IPA we've got brownies chocolate stout uh, an unnamed one we got Kai Scotto, uh, and another unnamed one, and then crafted Risling from from the Mantis region. So uh, that's kind of what um, we've done. I think what we're going to do is put in two more of these uh, kind of the wine storage areas uh, because each one of these are a different wine type um, because. Wine during the Middle Ages, wine and beer uh, were very, very popular. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put in two more of these. And how I kind of did this um, and how I kind of want to do this again. Oh, um, this wall is going to have to move back. I, I messed up. Let's go ahead and fix this real fast, though. It won't take very long. But, uh, yeah, so what, um, the wine and beer during, uh, the time period that we're kind of basing this province off of was very, very popular. Um, that was just kind of like the go-to drinks, um, when you were eating or, um, hanging out with friends or anything. So when, uh. They, they would have a very, very excess amount of it in the storage. So we've got these big, nice big kegs worth of it. Um, I wish it wasn't as like a plus signy, but uh, we can't really do much about it in, uh, in vanilla, unfortunately. But... I think uh, this basement is looking really good. We have some other stuff that we want to do uh, with this, or th that I want to do specifically. Um, and I think I saw that I'm going to have to change the other side as well. So what I'll do when we get over there, I'll just go ahead and take care of it. Oops. Um, off camera and do it but this one i kind of i want to do on camera because i want to show you my process in building these uh these wine cellars um so i've got these well in in the wine part part um i've got these uh little shelves in here and they uh i think that's how we did it yeah yeah so we got that we've got these shelves in here and they would be supporting the wine, um, the wine boxes, which would be these uh, note blocks. Um, they look very similar, so that's why we're using them today. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this number here. Um, we can put a chest up there, and I think one, two, three, four, five. Um, Actually, you know what? I don't want that there. Five, five, six. Um, hmm. No, because I did that 
over there and I made a boo-boo. Let's go ahead and put that there and that there. Yeah. And then we'll we'll lay down three chests in kind of strange positions to show kind of the uh storage aspect. Like if if they were completely fully stocked, you know, you wouldn't be able to have this much room. But my my idea for these are that they've been slowly taking these crates and these boxes uh, upstairs. So they're kind of in between shipments. Uh, so they have plenty of room. And then as far as these kegs go, they're, they're kegs. So you really can't see on the inside. Um, and then we've got these here that support the keg so that it doesn't roll around uh, unnecessarily. So I'm going to go ahead and move this wall back. But before I do, uh, this is kind of what I was thinking. So I'm going to kind of break up these stairs as well. And I'm going to use dark oak wood to symbolize kind of wear and tear. So uh, the idea is that people would be walking to uh, grab, you know, this wine or, or uh, fill up something from here. But... They, they would be walking in a circle around this main this main portion here. And so there would be a lot of wear and tear just kind of throughout this, uh, this area here. And what we can even do is something along these lines. And uh, due to the wear and tear, it kind of darkens up. And that's kind of my idea for, for this at least. So we've kind of got this and it's just mainly Maybe they replaced some wood and it caused it, um, or or something along those lines. And we'll have something like this because we're gonna have this kind of a little open, uh, so that, oops, uh, when they have a shipment, they can lower it down on this crane into the warehouse, which opens up back here. Now I don't know what necessarily I'm going to do with this quite yet. We might have to come back a little bit later, or if I come up with an idea. Or you guys, if you come up with an idea, please do leave them down in the comments for this area back here. Um, I don't really know what to do with it yet, but uh, I think uh, we've got a ton of room back here. Um, but yeah, so we're I'm going to go ahead and do that. We can break up some of this. Um, and we'll just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to fix up this area right here as well. And I will be back with uh, the finished project minus that area back there. Um, because that still has a little bit of work to do. And I'm not quite sure of what I'm going to be doing behind these walls. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and welcome back. So first off, I want to come up here. Um, I, I want to, uh, I think this is how I want to, uh, do the seats. Um, I like the idea of that and we'll probably put either wood and, uh, we'll probably put a wooden pressure plate on top of that. So, uh, actually let's see how that looks. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we'll do. And we'll, we'll put a couple in here, um, for the seating for the tavern. And then we might put one out here. Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and go downstairs and see what it's like. So uh, we I put in this floor. I was going to kind of make it uh, broken up and stuff, but I decided on this, and I actually really like it. I think I think this turned out really nice. And then um, we've we've got the uh, the different uh, storage rooms for the different uh, drinks and. Uh, stuffs and then obviously back in here we don't we don't really have anything um, we've got this area but uh, let me know in the comments uh, down below what you guys think I should do for uh, this over here um, yeah I think this this turned out very nice uh, I would love to know what you guys think of the uh, of the basement here let's go ahead I do not know if that's enough but we'll see mm. 
Hmm. What we'll probably do here is probably do one that is like so. And I'll come back and put the pressure plate on it. Um, yeah. That needs to go back. Feel like we could probably fit one more in um, yeah I think what I'm going to do is this move these down oh, shoot uh, that's fine but what you can do is actually move this guy over um, throw a torch down and then cobblestone doesn't matter right there and if we do this, then we can fit another one in probably right here. Yeah. Be a little close corners for that table there, but I think it'll be fine. Um, this whole community is uh, very close. Um, at least this is kind of what I... Uh, what I, I'm envi envisioning, sorry. Oh no, you can't get through there then. Um, yeah, let's try here and see how that looks. And we'll put you and you back. Kind of feels a little cramped, so what I can do is just move these over by one put you back and put you back and we'll do this and this yeah it doesn't feel as cramped anymore I mean the walkway is not as as big as I would like but it gets the job done um, the other thing I will do is put some uh, some furnaces and other stuff in the kitchen but yeah, so the main thing about this build was down here. Uh, this I'm I'm very happy that we got this all taken care of, and I'm going to throw this stuff in here for now. But I'll come back and move it to the correct spots a little bit later. But yeah, so uh, I think that's about all the time I have left for this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, it really helps my channel out, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content I put out. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will see you guys next time um, in the world of Odeon. So I'm out of here. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>